Okay, so we have the block completely stripped down. Now it's time to measure the cylinders to see if we can just hone them or if we need to take it to the machine shop. Today we are going to be measuring. It's basically all we're doing today. And we're measuring our cylinders so that we can order our engine kit so we can put our engine back together and it doesn't sound very fun, but it's necessary. <laughs> and I was told I can skip this part, so. Correct. So we're going to start with the cylinders. And for each cylinder, we're gonna be measuring the bore, taper, and out of round. So we're gonna be measuring the top and bottom of the cylinder in three different positions. We have our dial board gauge set to 3.68, which was the minimum that the cylinders need to be. So, I think we're ready. I'm getting started by just giving the cylinders a quick wipe out so that we don't get any gunk on the um, gauge. Okay, position one, we're gonna put it just below the ridge. So there's 14. So would you call that 14? Yeah, we'll just round it to 14. Fourteen. Now we're gonna do the bottom. I'm going to put it down just a little bit above the bottom of the wear area. We're gonna call that 14. Fourteen. Yeah, fourteen. We're gonna call that foot. <laughs> so, normally what you would do is you would take the difference between each of these for the taper, and then the difference with each of these for the out of round. But there's no difference. <laughs> So there's no taper and no out of round, which is good, but the bore size is, well, to find the bore size, you add the biggest one, which is, I don't know if you can tell, 14 thousandths. It's really hard to find. Um, and you add it to 3.68. That means that the bore size is 3.694, which is not good. Because in the manual, it says that it can't be any bigger than 3.6824. So we're a little over. <laughs> Which probably means we're going to have to take it to Mishy Chop. Well, let's take the rest. But we're going we're gonna to check the rest. So the taper and out of round are within spec because um, they're all within a thousand to half a thousand. So they're they're good, but unfortunately the bore sizes are about twelve to thirteen thousandths over. So it looks like we're gonna have to take it to the machine shop. So it looks like we're going to the machine shop, which is not what we wanted or expected, but one of the main things that me and my parents talked about when we started this project was safety and reliability. So, we're going to take it to the machine shop and it's gonna be super cool because we're gonna take it and we're basically gonna have a new engine when it's all over and it's gonna be super reliable and safe. So, it's all gonna work out for the good. What I'm taking out of the garage this week is that even though it's good to do things by yourself, it's good to know when it's time to go to a professional.
if we have to take it to the machine shop, then I'm not going to get to do this, and I want to do everything. So I have to do it now. <laughs> 